Do you agree, Steve? I mean, Cruz is, Cruz is your guy. Do you think, you know, how he's, how he's pivoting and turning it into a positive? Well, all right, if you want to be a Washington insider in with Reid and Pelosi and Boehner and Trump, uh, that, that's your guy. But I'm Cruz, and, and, and I'm, I'm from the outside. Is that, is, that, is that the plan for him? Brooke, if Team Cruz does not have a crying Boehner endorsement, on the air somewhere Ryan in Indiana Boehner. by the end of business today. I don't want to live in this world anymore, Brooke. This couldn't have, this <laughs> is a gift from God, this endorsement. Between yesterday, we got the endorsement of Planned Parenthood with the Fiorina and uh, Cruz ticket. Today, the establishment comes out and says, yeah, all right, we're going to keep it real here, Indiana. Here's the guy we really hate, Ted Cruz. And here's the guy that helped put all of us into office and gave us huge donations, Donald Trump. So this is the kind of branding you are looking for. These are the droids you're looking for right here, Brooke. This is what Kaylee, you want right here. He says it's a gift from God. You no, agree? No, not no. at all, Steve, because here's the thing. This is not about endorsements. I look to actions. And when I look at actions, what I see is Donald Trump stood up for the people of Colorado to have a vote. Donald Trump tried to enfranchise people, give them a greater voice, in contrast to Ted Cruz, who willingly stood against the people of Colorado, who willingly has been playing this delegate game to try to take the people's will out of the, out of the equation. That's what the Washington establishment does. They throw out the popular vote. They throw out the will of the people and they put their own personal aspirations first. That's what Ted Cruz has been doing the last I, I, few weeks. I, it's why he I'd, is I'd losing. like to respond to that. Yeah. Please do. I'd like to respond to that. Kaylee, I don't know you. Seriously, do you have any integrity at all? I just Ooh, have to know. Ouch. I mean, is Come it that now, important Steve. to be on national television? You Let's darn well know 65,000 people. I am keeping it professional. She's the one lying. 65,000 people voted in Colorado at this thing called a caucus, called an election. There has been no voterless elections. Every delegate has been elected, including the delegates unbound that Donald Trump got in Pennsylvania the other night. This is the biggest lie and the biggest scam from a guy that's lied repeatedly throughout this entire campaign, whose campaign is built on a lie. I'm Mr. Anti-Establishment when I wrote all these guys' checks. Yesterday, Mr. Trump was defending Ditch McConnell. Today, he's taking hosannas from John Boehner. This whole thing is a scam. And there See, are millions of Americans that watch people like you sit here and go on these shows, and Scotty Hughes and the rest of this, you know, this cabal of motley crew of advisors who just sit here and fet this guy and lie about him and for him every single day. And millions of Americans are freaking just sick of it. Stop well, hominem, lying. There wasn't a voterless election in Colorado. You're a liar. Stop Steve, lying. Please. Wow, wow. Please. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. No one comes on my show and calls anyone a liar. With all due respect, the deal in Colorado is yes, you are correct. People vote. I had somebody on who wanted to become a delegate. If I'm Thus, correct, there is she voting lied. to become a Why, delegate. If I'm correct, she lied, But it's not Why a, is that oh, bad? Steve. If I'm correct, she lied. She okay, lied. Ada, Why is it wrong? Kaylee, you're the one. I, you just I jump in here. I can, Hold on, wait. Why let me, let me respond really quickly. Ad hominem attacks, by the way, are the last line of defense. When the facts aren't on your side, it's a verifiable fact that Colorado canceled its presidential preference poll in August. Yes, they resorted to a four-tiered caucus system with the intent of disenfranchising the voters. It's also a verifiable fact that Colorado announced last How do you week that they would re voters Wait, let me finish, Steve. Vote. I sat here patiently. You can't I sat here patiently. voters when they Steve. vote. Steve, Steve, I patiently let, let you Let's finish. One more sentence, if you can tolerate it. It is also a verifiable fact that last Probably week not. Colorado announced that they would bring back the primary next year. They would allow the people to vote next year. All of those are verifiable facts. I hope someone fact checks this segment. Mindy, jump in. Uh, 